the Queen's funeral is due to take place on Monday, September 19, until which the UK will be in national mourning. However, there is no obligation to deviate from normal life during this time. King Charles III declared the day of the state funeral a national bank holiday to allow individuals and businesses to pay their respects. The bank holiday will operate in the same way as other bank holidays, and there is no statutory entitlement to time off. Read more, Harry and Andrew want wear uniforms at events marking Queen's death following the Queen's death on Thursday, September 8. Many events and performances scheduled over the weekend were cancelled. The Premier League cancelled all football matches over the weekend, in addition to golf and test match cricket being postponed on Friday. The BBC proms were called off and some shops including Selfridges and Liberty closed on Friday. Queen wouldn't want Britain at a standstill dash readers support life goes on mentality, image, Max Mumby slash Indigo slash Getty and Getty, in a poll that ran from 5 p.m. on Friday September 9, to 11 a.m. on Monday September 12, Express. Co.uk asked readers, should shops close and events be cancelled this weekend to mourn Queen? Overall, 3,366 people responded with a majority, 57 percent, 1,912 people, said no, shops and events should not be cancelled to allow the public to mourn. A further 42 percent, 1,405 people, were in favor of cancellations following the Queen's death, answering yes. Meanwhile, just 1 percent, 49 people, said they did not know either way. King Charles III declared the day of the state funeral a national bank holiday, image, Getty, thousands have left tributes to the late monarch, image, Getty, trending in the hundreds of comments left below the accompanying article, it was clear many readers thought the nation should carry on as usual. Username Fedu Panbird said, no they shouldn't shut. With respect to the Queen, life goes on. She wouldn't want it any other way. Username Rick Grimes said, she would like life to carry on, you can still show respect and continue with your normal day-to-day -day activities. Another, username Fox, wrote, the Queen would not want Britain to come to a standstill. Don't miss, line of succession in full, where Queen's 12 great-grandchildren stand. Insight Queen Elizabeth lying in state rules and full list of banned items, update Prince Harry throws his weight behind King Charles III, latest Queen Elizabeth II reigned for 70 years, image, express. C.O. UK, when is the Queen's funeral? All we know about funeral, procession and final resting place Queen Elizabeth II died aged 96, with tributes pouring in for the monarch from across the globe. As King Charles III steps up, the Queen's funeral plans will be well underway including a period of mourning, her coffin laying in rest and a final procession for her funeral. Here are all the expected plans for the Queen's state funeral. While user named Holst said, if you want to pay your respects then pay them but life must carry on. And user named The Rockerator said, no they should stay open folks will have a chance to pay their respects at her state funeral. Meanwhile, some readers thought that it should be a personal choice to mourn. User named Tamsin87 said, it should be a personal choice. Nothing should be forced on people. The Queen's funeral is due to take place on Monday, September 19, Image, Express. C.O. UK, and user named Petit Prendumps said, it's sad the Queen passed away but it's up to the people to mourn or not. Why should people be obliged to stop their activities? However, other readers argued that Britain should close shops and cancel events to allow for national mourning. Username Washing Machine said, Yes people should shut up shop to pay their respects for the Queen's life and all she has done for this country. And username Shelby Kowalski Jr. said, Of course they should. All businesses should close for the full period of national mourning to give each and every person the time to reflect, 
grieve and pay their respects. The Queen's funeral will take place at Westminster Abbey and her body will lie in state in Westminster Hall for four days prior, to allow the public to pay their respects.